You're watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2019. And I'm joined now by Wenjing Chu, who is Head of Open Source and Research at Futureway Technologies. Wenjing, thanks for taking time to join us on Telecom TV today. My pleasure. ONS is covering a, a, a lot of networking areas this year, but foremost amongst them really is, is, is Edge. Edge is edge computing is getting a lot of attention, but when we talk about edge computing, what do we actually mean by edge? Where, where is the edge and how is it different from cloud computing? Yes, a great question. So um, I think uh, the computing industry uh, going through multiple phases. We start from mainframes, really, you know, very centralized to PCs distributed, but still you have, you know, one computer, one person. And cloud, uh, you know, allow us to have one person to access thousands, even millions of computers at the same time, right? Um, but there is a limit of how much we can handle in the cloud. And distance is one, privacy, um, and uh, basically a uh, situational awareness. Um, so if I'm a doctor, you know, doing operation, I want to be sure things that I do here uh, can be uh, uh, computed and analyzed and you know, act upon right away. So those are the situations that are going to allow us to do better uh, than what we already have in cloud computing. So Edge allows us to have that uh, expansion to much broader uh, size of the market. I think people are talking about trillions, and so I hope you know, Edge computing is our next wave, which will expand that uh, to, to, to much broader economy. Whilst we talk about edge computing, we also have other terms we, we use. We use fog computing. Even IoT is, is kind of edge edge based. Yeah. Are, are these are these the are we talking about the same thing here? <laughs> yeah. So they are kind of uh, talking about the same thing from different perspectives, right? right? right. And uh, uh, fog, as the name suggests, is from cloud perspective. So it's like a cloud, you know, a little bit expanding into the edge. IoT come from the other side and come from you know, the people who used to make gadgets um, that we use every day. Um, small devices, maybe you found in, you know, in cars, in planes, in uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, home use today, right? And so, but those also need to connect to the cloud. So they're coming from the other direction. But I think we are solving the same problem, and there's a need for us to meet in the middle, and that's where Edge is. And the Edge is obviously very important for Huawei. What's your, your vision? How are you going to tackle um, Edge? Yeah, so Huawei had a phenomenal uh, growth in our business over the years. And uh, we see Edge as a really our uh, first step to bring um, IT technology on computation, on AI, on many, many, I think, uh, technologies we, you know, we work on every day, bring that to much broader uh, 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 audience and users. So we want to connect that to uh, you know, every really home, people, businesses, uh, in fully connected and in very intelligent world. And that, I think, is, you know, is the missing piece I think is going to play a very important role for us. Well, let's move on to open source. Um, the Linux Foundation is, is doing a, a, a lot of support work with Edge. It's got LF Edge organization. And yeah. Crano is, is, is one of the, the, the projects there as well. Um, how is this open ecosystem important to the development of Edge and to what you're doing? Yeah, so as we were talking about, Edge really has uh, bringing so many different industries, uh, so many uh, different markets, and you know, people used to work in all uh, different fields on their own. I think this is to bring them together. Um, to bring together, we, have, uh, we need a place to share ideas, share code, share really best practice, etc. And I think uh, there are many organizations uh, sprung up to, to take on that challenge. And open source is one of them, I think. Uh, so I happen to work a lot on open source. Uh, Linux Foundation has uh, started a, a new uh, umbrella organization called uh, LF Edge. This is in addition to already we have uh, been seeing a lot of uh, LF networking. Uh, so the Edge you know, bring many projects together. Aquino is one of them. And Aquino specifically looking at how do we look at each uh, uh, examples we've been talking about end-to-end. Uh, -end. 
so that you look at the use case and make sure the components that are coming from uh, all these uh, new inventions can work together and help that particular use case. So, um, so we, for example, we have one use case on IoT um, uh, gateways uh, that connect, you know, maybe small gadgets together. Uh, we have a use code called uh, uh, SD-WAN, and SD-WAN allow us uh, to, you know, have uh, 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 businesses and enterprises connect to the cloud better, right? Um, there are uh, use cases for connected cars, for, for medical, for smart cameras, and so that's what uh, uh, this is going to be. Uh, but uh, I think LF in, uh, in general bring many of these uh, players from different background industries together and through open source uh, to be able to connect and interlink together. And what's your message to the attendees here at ONS North America? What do you want to see from the open source and edge communities? Yeah, so I would very much like to um, ask um, all the participants here to go beyond technology to beyond the the you know the uh, the industry you have been working on, but look at a much broader opportunity because we are at the. Um, I mean, there are some estimates, for example, that uh, the you know intelligence and uh, and, and the edge computing can help create another fifteen trillion dollars, and so that's a. Um, uh, gigantic number. That's the size of the economy today for the United States, right? Um, so uh, we don't think this can be done by any one industry. Uh, so uh, I think uh, collaborating and learn from each other best practice is the best way forward. Um, and uh, you know, sharing the data, sharing the best practices, sharing code um, in the open source community, I think will do well for um, for uh, all of us involved. So uh, a collaboration and the ecosystem, I think is very, very important if we want to really take on that opportunity and challenge. Well, Wenjing, thank you very much indeed. Appreciate your time today. Thank you.